Hello everyone and welcome to another computer software is your friend tutorial. And welcome to the browser wars. You know, there's there are some people out there who joke around it. They say that the only thing that Internet Explorer is really good for is downloading other browsers. Of course, that depends on the person, depends on their preferences, but yeah, Microsoft still has some work to do in order to get Internet Explorer up to par with the latest browsers. Sorry to say, just gotta be honest. Um, so, without further ado, one thing that you might find surprising is that some browsers um, already contain Metro support. Uh, one of the notable ones right off the bat is Chrome and that's the one I'm going to show you today. So you go to Internet Explorer, you search for Chrome and uh, here's the Google Chrome browser. So now you might want to go to Chrome Beta actually. <laughs> go to Beta you'll for sure have it in beta Chrome beta download Chrome beta set Chrome as the default accept and install and run as you can see installing an application on Windows is very easy <laughs> I, I just thought I'd take the opportunity to do two tutorials at once um, <laughs> it's very easy <laughs> um, and essentially you're going to be able to install Chrome and from there you're going to be able to uh, have it pinned onto your start menu but because it will be a default application you're going to see it in full screen um, what can I tell you before we install I, I know it's a spoiler but Chrome Metro app looks the same as the desktop app it's just missing the chrome on the top which gives you the x uh, which gives you the close maximize and minimize that's pretty much it otherwise chrome acts exactly like it would anywhere else So now that Chrome is done installing, you're going to notice that, well, here it is, nicely installed on Windows 8. Here's the desktop version. I reckon, okay, it's pinned by default. I was about to tell you to pin it. So essentially what you're going to do now is you're going to enable the sync. I'll do that after. So here is Chrome on the desktop. Now, what's important here is not this. What's important is what's going to happen when you click here. Okay. So now once you're in to Google Chrome, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to settings and you're going to go and make Chrome my default browser and you are going to then choose Google Chrome. A lot of cool things are about to happen, my friends. Go to the Start menu and the Internet Explorer icon magically changes. But that's not the only thing that changes, so there's the Google Chrome icon. Hmm. Click on the Google Chrome icon and here is your full screen Chrome Metro application and let's go to YouTube and voila of course out of the box flash should work let's see if there's let's just go to my channel see if I can find it play a video from my channel So I'll play a cool one. Let's see, which one do you guys like best? Uh, hopefully these view counts are going to get better soon. 
Uh, let's see, the start screen. Today, I'm going to show you some of the neat things with the start menu in Windows 8 RTM. Now, whether you love it or whether you hate it, Microsoft has changed the So as you can see, it works. Interface, it works very well. Which includes a lot of very things smooth. which are going and to be And the UI is here. very nice. And what if the you can add a tab, now is you can multitask, very start easy to use, it's just like Chrome on the desktop, right here. And one interesting thing to note is and that you if you switch on applications here, you the volume is going to automatically pause. So we were at 47, give it a few seconds, now, let me just show okay you a it doesn't pause, it mutes start, it. Um, screen. So there you go, Google Chrome as the default browser. Now, wait a second, what if you don't like Google Chrome? Well, there's Firefox, which has announced that it is working on a Metro app. Um, so far, I don't know if they have a beta out there yet, but I've seen some um, pictures of what it could look like, and it's looking really nice, I must say. The guys over at Mozilla, could potentially have a really nice browser for Windows 8. Just throwing it out there and Mozilla and, and Google when it comes to Chrome versus Firefox at this point in time Firefox is catching up just as fast as Google so there are times when Firefox is actually faster than Chrome but they're both updating incrementally so fast that you can't go wrong with either browser. It's a, method, it's, it's a basically preference choice at the moment Personally, I prefer Chrome. No offense to the Firefox fans who may be watching, but I personally prefer Chrome. Nothing. It's not that I don't like Firefox. I actually do use Firefox on the other partition, which is still in release preview. Um, but I just prefer Chrome. So now, what happens if you want to go back to normal? Okay, you want to go back to normal. Well click on Internet Explorer it's gonna open here and of course it's gonna freak out that it's not the default browser so you set it as the default browser of course it will open this um, menu again and you will choose Internet Explorer where it will open the Metro app now one of the things that has been a problem throughout the development stages of Windows 8 is Flash Now, before this video, I did not install any kind of Flash player or anything. I've been keeping Windows as raw as possible to show you the actual experience. So, if the video doesn't work, it's Microsoft's fault. But, because the Metro version of Windows 8 requires uh, a special Adobe Flash uh, player plugin, it comes pre-installed so no need to care here is the exact same experience that was in Chrome with Internet Explorer with Internet Explorer you right click up here to add a tab and if you change again it will again mute back forth back, what happens change, if you don't like the back, uh, 26, 27, okay give it a few seconds, Currently and like Chrome it just mutes it, it doesn't pause the video, um, which means that so that's you how it is files, with, uh, with Internet default, Explorer, so do you really need well. to change to Chrome, but not necessarily, not if you don't want to, with not if you don't want to, you don't necessarily have to change the Chrome if you can hear me before because of the sound. So as you can see, that's how Internet Explorer works. The other one is how Chrome works. With Internet Explorer you get more of a full screen experience than with Chrome as the default. But I mean, either way you can't go wrong with either browser really, um, I'm not kidding. Of course, if you put uh, Internet Explorer is the default, you click on Chrome, 
it'll always open in the taskbar and the desktop. So as you can see, this is the browser war. Um, I'm hoping to see um, the other browsers come out soon. Now you can't get any of the browsers in the Metro in the App Store just yet, but very soon you will be, and that will be a very nice, um, nice thing to have is that browser war in Metro because it gives you such a great new platform, I think. So, what do you think? Which browser do you prefer in Metro? Or however you want to call this new interface. Let me know. Comment sections below. You like the content? Subscribe button is above. Don't wait. Subscribe. And uh, don't miss our other content on the blog. To do that, social media links are in the description below. Follow us on Twitter. Like us on Facebook. And follow us on Google+. Plus. Add us to your circle. Be kind. Be kind. Because there's some stuff that's going to be on the blog that won't be on YouTube. And vice versa. Keep that in mind, folks. If you like our content, this is how you can follow us. This is how you can communicate with us. If there's anything you want to see, you let us know. You let me know. Don't hesitate. Let me know. All right, subscribe buttons above. Comment sections below. Social media is below as well. This has been another Computer Software Is Your Friend tutorial. Until next time.